audience collect with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, I'm repurposing some more of my clearance holiday finds. Um, tonight, I'm going to be using the Walmart signs my hubby got. They were 60 cents at Walmart. Oh, my God. All right. So I'm going to take some Mod Podge, and I'm going to cover one of them with the Mod Podge. And then I'm going to put some scrapbook paper over it. Now I'm doing this, and I, you know, make sure it's on really well, and I see on the edges. And then I realized... Ugh, you can see see you can see the indentation of the sign so all right another layer of mod podge and i put another pretty little piece of um scrapbook paper on top of that make sure it's really adhered well and then sand it um i think the pattern helps with not seeing the um pattern underneath but whatever um and then i take these half um wood beads got them on I think Amazon, um, and you're going to put one on each corner. Then while that's drying, we're going to put a bead of, now you could use wood glue. I happen to use gem tack because that's what I had. And I'm just going to put a line across the top and then we're going to, um, put some wood beads down. Now these wood beads came from a clearance item. It was a pumpkin. I, I think it was a pumpkin. My sister got it um, from Dollar General on clearance. It's awesome. So anyways, we took that apart and we have all of these little wood beads. So now I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue all of these beads on. Now I did um, kind of map out how they were going to be placed on here so that they all fit properly. I'll show you how I did the sides um, doing that in a second. But you just go all the way across with that, right? Now we're going to do the sides and this is how I did it. I map it out and I make sure that there's enough room and I, you know, if you need to space it differently, then glue those down, do both, you know, I'm going to do all the sides with the wood beads. And then once those are all glued down, I put another layer on top of those of the um, either wood glue or in this case, gem tack. Now on the other side of the, um, wood sign that we did. This is the one that has the scrapbook paper on the top. On the bottom of that, we're going to put a bead of hot glue on the edge. We're going to flip it over and we're going to put it on top of those wood beads. <gasps> look at, are you ready? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, look at how pretty that looks. <laughs> now the wood glue or the gem tech, it's going to, it's going to dry it clear. So don't worry about that. All right. So next I'm going to do the same thing with the wood glue. I'm going to do one on each little dollop on each corner um, and then we're going to put some more um, hot glue on a wood bead and we're just going to make little feet for it right so you put one on each corner Ta-da! look at how cute this is i can't even stand it love it now i did a little bit of sanding and look if now listen if you don't like distressing that's why i left it at that one but friends my primitive vibe people oh <laughs> look what we're gonna do i am using this little sponge to make some distressing marks oh my gosh i am so excited about this it's not, listen i was delaying doing i haven't done a lot of distressing in a while and so i went a little crazy and i'm there for it <laughs> anyways I was so excited and watch what it does to the side. Oh, so cool. Now I did go over the sides and I did a little sanding, but oh my gosh, friends, thanks so much for watching.